Good wow. morning. <laughs> so today we're gonna be well I'm gonna be making a video using no other than my Jackie out of bed. Aunt Jackie, where you at? Hey. Jackie, Happy Jackie, 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 birthday to Jackie, 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 Jackie. Shout out to Jackie, I know, yeah, I'm saying. And ABH, TBH, ABH is the truth. Shout out to Jackie on your birthday. 32 years young, you big. Dropping this palette, I already copped it for my girl. You feel me? Who else you know? Because give us a present on their birthday. Who else? You know what I'm saying? That's how you know Jackie a real one because we get a present on your birthday. <laughs> Blah. That's how you know, girl. And all the haters out here, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to come at her. Oh, this palette is full of these colors and that colors and this whatever. No, it ain't. All right. The stuff look good, look quality. I ain't even a girl. Shout out to Dennis for doing his thing on the logo joint. Yeah, buddy. That logo fresh, bruh. Hey, yo, run my man's Dennis is 20%. You know what I mean? Give my man Dennis his <laughs> check, man. Stop playing with that boy. For all you haters that got something to say about this Jackie Adam palette. Stop hating. Basically. You know what I'm saying? But listen, like I tell everybody, if you got haters, you're doing something right. Obviously. Flat out. Because ain't nobody coming after irrelevant people. <laughs> so obviously Jackie's doing something right. She's backed by one of the biggest brands in makeup. You know what I'm saying? They a lot of them. They could have collabed with anybody. Not that Jackie is a nobody, but I'm just saying. Like they could have they could have called anybody and been like, look, let's go ahead and drop this palette. So all you haters that have something to say, cut it. You made me angry. Congratulations. I hope you're ready to die about that palette, because I'm ready to go war for it. War for it. <laughs> I'm ready to go war for it. I'm ready to go war for it. I don't know how to control myself. I don't. Like, I'm over here trying to calm down. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my tutorial. Stay tuned. He's about to leave and go to work. So, it's not the way my face looking. You and me. Okay? Don't my face look like I'm one of them 85 cent a day kids? Uh -uh. <laughs> Jasmine Lee here welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and if you're new welcome um basically today's video is obviously going to be about Jackie Anna's new collaboration with ABH this is the Jackie Anna by ABH palette and she is here in all her iridescent rainbowy goodness um I'm so happy about this palette like when I saw Jackie Arna's reveal video, I kid you not, I'm sitting up on the screen like this, like smiling and just like a proud mom or something. Like, I'm just so happy. Jackie Arna, if by any chance you see this video, thank you so much for your contributions to the beauty industry. Um, it's because of influencers such as yourself that people like me, like girls who aren't at the top of the light spectrum or the darkest of the dark, you make sure that we're covered, like we're all covered. And you are really good at identifying the in-betweens, you know, you are so good at voicing your opinions on things without being disrespectful, at least in my opinion. Um, and I just wanna thank you. And, and Jackie, girl, this palette right here, I haven't used it yet. It's still brand spanking new. The plastic's gone. Oh, well, yeah, the plastic's gone. That was the brush that just fell. Um, but yeah, this is her. She's here. She's arrived in all her pink, purpley, rose gold goodness. Like, we're here for her. And I'm just so freaking happy. Like, I honestly want to get another palette because I just. I just I'm so happy like this is a big freaking deal okay and if we don't support our black influencers when they come out if we don't support them we're not gonna get to see stuff like this and I want to see more stuff like this so I will be buying 
probably two more palettes one to keep for myself as a collector's item and one to give away because like this this is this is big okay like i'm just so proud of her so anyways i know y'all didn't come in for that let me go ahead and dive into swatches so i'm gonna provide you with a clip inserted here okay so now that you guys have seen swatches we're gonna go ahead and do my eyes okay so first up is my tarte shape tape concealer in the shade medium tan sands next i'm gonna be using these six different brushes from morphe mikasa and pro fusion to get into this eyeshadow look First, I'm taking the shade Ginger, and I'm blending that into my crease with my E17 brush. And um, I just tapped into it maybe two to three times to get the color payoff that I wanted. Next, I'm taking edges and I'm gonna blend that into my crease as well, just a little bit higher than Ginger, and I'm using my Pro Fusion Blender brush to do it. Next, I'm taking a shade Pinker on my Morphe M213 brush, and I'm putting that on the innermost corner of my eyelid. Now, for this part of the video, I wish I would've put like a clean concealer base on my lid so that these colors pop a lot more than they do. So that's something I definitely suggest you try if you're doing this at home. So I'm gonna be taking the same brush and going into Supreme on my eyelid. Now I'm going on the outer corner, and I'm just, you know, dragging that out. And what you see me doing now is I'm taking more of pinker and I'm kind of like blending that out into the pink so that they kind of like merge together a little more seamlessly. Okay, here comes Big Wig on a Morphe 5, M506, that's right. <laughs> so I'm gonna be blending this into my outer V and just kind of like trying to merge it with edges, ginger, and Supreme all at the same time. I also went back in with the brush I took for edges. And of course, as you see here, I'm blending them all out together, trying to get everything to kind of like mesh in a way that I'm satisfied with. Okay, now I'm going in with Sponsored. And this color is like very a very sheer green. Um, so if you take it underneath like a black, it's gonna show up really pretty, but I wanted that sheer look for this. So I put a little bit at a time on my finger and kind of built it up to what I wanted it to look like. Okay, so now I'm going back into Supreme and I'm just putting the color back on my lid while blending that pink into Big Wig as well as Sponsored. Okay, so now we're gonna do the bottom lash line. I'm taking Supreme and I put that all underneath my lash line. Then I kind of made a mistake and I took Shookington and put it on the outer corner of my bottom lash line. Now, it's not really a mistake because both Big Wig and Shookington are purple, but Shookington just looks a lot more intense because of its texture. So I kind of panicked, although you didn't see it in my face on camera, I did panic a little bit like just because I didn't know how to fix it, but you'll see what I do. I basically layer and blend and layer some more and blend, so I figured it out.
Okay, lastly, I'm going into Wigglies and Zam, and we're gonna put those in our inner corner, laying down Wigglies first, and then I'm gonna be putting Zam on top of it because I wanted like a more pinky rose gold. Like I wanted that rose and rose gold to pop. So <laughs> I put red underneath it. And um, I was going for more of a grungy, girly type of look, so hopefully I achieved that. Um, and I like this look, so hopefully you guys do too. Um, lastly, I'm going in with the Maybelline New York Lash Stiletto Mascara. This is my favorite drugstore mascara in the whole wide world. On days like today where I'm not feeling falsies, this mascara is the truth. It just enhances my natural length and also makes them a lot more bold and defined so that I get the same drama of a falsie without the um, discomfort, if you will. So I'm just putting on my Pat McGrath gloss. This is a mini and the shade is Flesh Fantasy Lust Gloss. So I know it's like too tiny for y'all to see anything, but. Just figuring out how to use the colors Jackie Incorporated in the palette was a bit of a challenge. But I think I did a pretty good job of, you know, coming up with something different, but still true to me. Um, I used a lot of the colors in this palette and I really do like this look. All right, so there you have it. That's the finished look. I am wearing the Pat McGrath Flesh Fantasy Lust Gloss on my lips. I'm like really feeling the look. It's kind of like grungy but girly and I love it. And like, I love that this palette challenged me a little bit more than any that I've really worked with. Um, and again, this is what she looks like. She's been abused a little now. You can actually see like creases in the shades like where I've been using her. So I am looking forward to playing in this palette some more. Um, so again, Jackie, shout out to you. Congratulations on this palette. You did an amazing job and I'm definitely going to have to make more videos with this palette just to push myself to figure out how to blend colors. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment, and I will be back. You guys have a great day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bruh. Yes. She's not laid. She's not. Okay. I know. I freaking know. Like the whole video, sis was just so. I mean, not really a girl, but you know, I don't even use makeup is what I'm saying. You know, I mean, you know, they look good. The names are funny though. What's the names of it? Wigglies and Zam. Yes, and <laughs> Dwellers. <laughs> My man is money, for real. That logo, nice, bro. It's real yes. simple, it's real classy. But you like know it when you see it, that it's Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> I like that logo right there. It's tasteful. What's up, Dennis? I'm trying to do my clothing line, man. Do me a logo, man. I listen. I pay you good bread, bro. You feel me? Wait. <laughs> I will be back. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.